Thousands of people giving their best to help others. This morning, triathletes crowded downtown St. Petersburg for the St. Anthony's Triathlon. Many ran for personal goals, others to raise money for an important cause. Many Zion's Catherine Simmons attended that event and brings us some very special stories. We have found all sorts of stories out here at the St. Anthony's Triathlon. Some people do this to get fit, others are gearing up for a cause. While most runners pound the pavement in as little as possible, Diane Villano is adding on. I'm from top to bottom, my pack is a little over 15 pounds, my utilities are a little over 2 pounds, and my boots are weighing in at about 4 pounds. The 110-pound St. Pete Beach woman isn't even in the military. She's running in full gear for Support Our Marines, a group she started after her fiancé died in New York City on 9-11. I just go out, I have a good time, I like to raise awareness. Um, raise money and, and honor our service members who sacrifice so much. And today she's running in honor of 21 year old Sergeant Lee Mills. Tuesday is the third anniversary of his death. His mother, Dee Mills, wouldn't miss this for the world. Well, I had a knot in my stomach this morning before I came, but uh, I'm so honored that someone like Diane um, is respecting our son and all the other fallen. It means a lot. This race also means a lot to Captain Ivan Castro. A mortar round um, landed right next to me, uh, killing two of my soldiers and uh, leaving me uh, blinded. He's running for Enable America because he has a second chance. I do this because there's, there's a lot of other people that can't. I do this uh, because it, it makes me feel alive. And it makes Mills feel alive, too, to meet Castro. She gives him a piece of an American flag with a message. Please carry me as a reminder that you are not forgotten. Uh, you know what? I'll carry this in my run today. All right, sweetie. I'm going to carry this in my run, and I'm so sorry for the loss of your son. A loss that has encouraged people like Villano to do what she does. Here, she's in the home stretch. Mills hands over a bigger flag in memory of her son. Today's Lee's day, and I'm, I'm thankful that I'm able to be here. And Volano proudly takes him to the finish line. In St. Petersburg, I'm Katherine Simmons, Bay News 9. Diane Volano actually started running last year and has now logged 50.3 race miles so far this year. And every time she runs, she pins pictures of fallen soldiers on her military gear.